Inspiration of some of my positive upbringing in Judaism. Some yeah. things that I've seen, I've seen how people harm other people. So. Yeah. But what's, but, but what's, what, what's very interesting, you said that we have a, an obligation yeah. to, uh, to contribute positive impact on the world. Yeah. I agree with that. Uh, but would we be able to fulfill these obligations if the Creator didn't create us in the first place? So shouldn't we have an obligation to the Creator? So let's say the Creator, if I was to... If so, if I'll I, tell if, you what's the difference. Okay, go on, go on. Go on. I think an obligation that comes not from a deal. You put me here so I will do good. But an obligation that comes from an inner sense of I'm existing in the world, I want to be useful to the world or to the great to nature. Yeah. I think the deal is the, the deal is if I will do good I'll be rewarded. It's not a great it's not a great deal. It has it has a concept of um, it's too similar in this no I I just think I agree everything that you said. Yeah, we 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 are we are well rooted in our heart to do good. I agree with that. Yeah. However, I, Islam I just, goes Islam goes beyond that, which is look. Yeah. I and understand I understand the concept of gratitude. Yeah, but your for our existence, uh, right. for our health, correct. for our life. So okay, so so so, so what so what you stated is absolutely correct. I agree with you. We have an obligation to uh, to to have positive impact to the world. Yeah. But you're talking about the rights, or fulfilling the rights of the creation. But what about fulfilling the rights oh, no, of the creator? So it's, that's I think what we defer. That's, really that's what we, that's the difference is. I'm gonna do good not because. I follow a God who told me to be good because that can be okay. We saw so, so many people who follow a God that they made in their head that tells them not to do good. So I think um, the value of the ac our action should be measured not by God's judgment or what we presume God's judgment is, okay. but the positive impact of our actually our deeds. Yeah, but what, I'm, but, what I'm, happy, but what I'm trying to say is how what I'm trying to say is how would you have how would you be able to contribute to the world if there was no creator in the first place? So let's say for example, like it, 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 this this simple uh, this simple phone here, right? I am, I, uh, so let me yeah. check that I understand you. Yeah, sure. You say. You, if God would have not put you on this earth, yeah. you have not been able to do the things that you... Yeah. yeah, I think it's one theory. No, it's not a theory because you've already acknowledged there's a higher power. Oh yes, yeah, there is a higher yeah. power. But yeah. you're saying the higher power is the entity that revealed itself to Prophet Muhammad. Yes, correct. And my people are thinking the higher power is the entity that revealed itself to Moses in the burning bush. Yes, yes. And I'm saying, not sure not sure of any of this higher power i we live in canada the land of the first nation people okay and they believe in Sorry. in a creator that is not a, not jehovah god allah but a creator that is more nature and more mm. um, whole, um a, d a different kind of spirit. i understand where you're coming from i understand and where you're coming they from. they have their values yeah. and which are but really then but amazing. then every but then every creation isn't their purpose behind so let's say like why, why was this bottle why was it created in the first place? Oh well, this a produce of capitalism, stealing the water <laughs> from the natural <laughs> no, I'm resource. I'm talking about and the bottle. Money the bo of that. Yeah, but yeah. somebody must have. Somebody must yeah, have. Yeah, this uh, is actually yeah. an example of people using their wisdom to create something. Fantastic! Yes. Fantastic! That's okay. brilliant! That's brilliant! So I, I think what you're coming from is from a deist position. I think that's what you're saying, which is a deist, deism, deist position. I'm not familiar with uh, No term. problem. So deist, deist basically means uh, an individual who accepts that there is a higher power, but doesn't do anything, doesn't intervene to his creation. And I don't believe in that. I believe that the creator created us. There's only one creator. That creator is one and only. Uh, independent, self-sufficient, doesn't need anything. Uh, he doesn't have children. He's not yeah. born. Yeah, he, he's not human. He's, yeah, he's not human. He's yeah. nothing like onto his creation. So all yeah? the, the yeah. things that we correct beginning and the God, end exactly. and uh, yeah. at, um, what's the, op the opposite of ancestors like? He's not rep it's not reproducing. Yeah, it's 
It's something her, that fantastic. we don't know exactly what it is, but we it, know what it's not. Exactly. So, so, yeah. so, so, so your, so your, uh, your conception about God, or the reality of 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 of, of God, actually aligns with Islam, because uh, Islam actually aligns with Islam, okay. because uh, th th there's a small chapter in the Quran, which basically gives the definition of Allah. It says, "Kul huwa Allahu ahad." Say, He is Allah one and only, not not one in two, not one in three, right. not plethora of gods, but one God only. Yeah. yeah, you know, Allah, the, the Allah. people I come from have the same yeah. So you accept there's concept. only one, one God? I do not accept that, but I know the people that I come from, yeah. there is the most important saying is, listen, the people of Israel, God is our Lord, God is one. Yeah, but they have a, they, they, they have a different conception, because in terms of, in terms of, the, um, in terms of the concept of God, of Judaism and in Islam, the thing that, that does agree is the oneness of God. Right. However, what Judaism do, they anthropomorphize. So anthropomorphize mean they they uh, they put human attributes to God. So for example, in the Bible, it says that God regrets. Regret is a deficiency. It's a oh, weakness. Well, I have to you tell understand? you something about the Jewish Bible. Okay. And I think the Islam agrees with that. Yeah. What we have is not the original text. Hundred percent, I agree. So there is some terrible story about Moses telling to the people of Israel to kill not just the adult enemy but the babies the babies as well yeah I correct, think correct if Moses was the way we think he was yeah. he would have never instruct such an order yeah and I think if the God that the Jews believed in um, okay which I I understand that Muhammad believed in that, that we, too basically when I don't it comes yeah that God would have killed the newborn baby uh, I agree I agree with that so I agree with that if, if, if one believes in, a, in the concept of God, like Islam and Judaism, the Bible, that as we know it, is a collection of stories that men told. I agree, 100%. And it's reflecting the values of their time. Yes. It's very violent. Yeah. And not, I think, the values of the God that they aspire to follow. Yeah, I agree with that. Clear? Okay. No, no, you're absolutely clear. You made everything clear. So from an Islamic position, would you affirm uh, the prophets of God mentioned the Old Testament. For example, we affirm Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. We believe that they came with the one message, the same message, which is to worship God alone who created us, not to associate partners with Him. Not to associate partners with Him. So not idol worship, right? No idols, no statues. We don't worship the creation. Rather, we only worship the Creator. And we believe that all the prophets, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, they came with the same message, the oneness of God. And that aligns with your natural inclination. It aligns with your natural instinct about God. Mine? Yeah. Or, well, Everyone. I, Everyone. I think the profound difference that you and I have, yeah. or any believer, that I do not think our role is to worship a higher entity. I, I do mm. think that yeah. I have no problem with people who follow judge that has or religion that has moral values i think if people need the framework and they need the quran or the bible to tell them you need to give charity so be as long as they give charity but what i'm saying what but what i'm saying but is I, but, yeah, the but what i'm saying is saying, islam goes beyond that that's what i'm saying yeah but you say that there is a concept here right god gave you life you should worship god yeah yeah. And I'm rejecting that concept. I think. I think it's well. Gave me life, I think it's well. I'm gonna yeah. do what I'm gonna do with the life I'm giving. Ah, I see. Try to. I see. Um, care, care, be good, be kind, do charity, do social justice. Yeah. But Islam, but, is, but Islam, but Islam, at, Islam already agrees with that. Every, 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 yes, yes. every human has some sort of universal yeah, so morals. So I agree with that. The return. God gave you life, so you will worship God. I think if there is God, they do not need. Okay, let, let's say for no, example. No, just I'll finish the okay, sure, sure. If God, whatever the God is, exists, the God that I would want to believe is not a God that cares yeah. for worshiping. Okay. Yeah, it's part of it anyway. It comes with it. It comes. It comes with the baggage, basically. That's great. So what it's I'm saying. Great package so what I'm saying, like, I'll give an example, right? Let's say you're very, very thirsty right now. You're very. You're very thirsty. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. you need water, right? Yeah. And if I if I give you a bottle of water for you to drink, what's your natural instinct? 
gratitude. Gratitude. You say thank you, right? Yes. But did I create water? Yeah, but I want wait, to wait, tell wait, you wait, something. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. The gratitude has two levels. First oh. is not taking not things for granted, mm -hmm. for granted. Yeah. And second, because you are human, yeah. you need my gratitude as a way to acknowledge what God you doesn't need your gratitude. Of, so I understand. That's the difference. I'm grateful to you, one, because I'm not taking you for granted. And second, because you as another human being, yeah. not God or entity, yeah. you need my gratitude to know... No, I didn't oh, say that. Oh, okay. Well, you need. I think it's useful to reinforce that you did something good, so you will have motivation to go to the next thirsty person and also to offer your water. Because if I'll take the water yeah, and sure. instead of drinking it yeah. and say thank you, I will smash it in your face, yeah. you will be... Caref too careful or mm. it will detract you from going to the next thirsty person. So when I'm gratitude to you, yeah. my gratitude to you is telling you, you did good. Now go to the second person who is thirsty and offer them some water. That's the value of gratitude. Yeah. If God is exist, I do not, don't not really think he needs my gratitude. Yeah, but, uh, but, but in Islam, it is well rooted to be grateful. If somebody does a favor for you, you will say thank you, correct? Right. Okay, fine. But I didn't create this full time. I didn't create this water, you didn't create yeah. this water. So, so, so the thing is, I'll give an example, right? If I was to give you two million pounds. No, let, 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 wait, wait, just, just, no, just, 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 just Raihan, what's, what's your name? Raihan. Raihan, yeah, does it have a meaning? Raihan meaning uh, fragrance. Fragrance in yeah. what language? Uh, Arabic. Okay. Uh, Arabic. Well, I hope well, I smell nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in Hebrew is Raya. Okay. okay. We have the same Arabic, yeah. Arabic Hebrew, the yeah. same uh, semantic words. And what's your My name? My name is Hila, which means halo in Arabic. Ah, okay. Nice to meet you. Hey, in Hebrew. Nice to meet you. So, okay, go ahead. Okay. So, so I'll give an analogy. It's right? just a terrible example that you hold the capitalist company water bottle to make your point. No, I'm not. I'll try to think about the water. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the bottle. I'm talking about the water. Okay. No, no, I'm talking about the water. Okay. Uh, I mean, where do we get the water from? Yeah, we get, no, it, we, I, we I get it from the clouds. I right? know where we differ. Okay. You're saying right. if you are grateful for your existence, yeah. there is a way to show your gratitude, to express your gratitude by worshipping or follow the God, like Allah. Yeah. And I'm saying my way to be grateful, to be existing in the world, yeah. is by doing good to other people. Like yeah. the Creator did good by yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah, like but yeah, but yeah, but why? Yeah, but why don't you show gratefulness to the one who created you in the first place, in order for you to express, you know, doing positive, positive contribution? Because I think you think that Allah brought me to this world, and I'm not sure. No, 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 I'm not talking about Allah right now. Oh, you, you God, acknowledge there's a higher power, even right? The Jewish God. Yeah, I don't know. No, 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 no. no. Allah is a name, it means oh, their God. Right? I'm talking about the, the 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 Creator. Okay, let's talk about the Creator, right? Yeah. I so if the Creator, no, yeah. If the if the sure, I'll yeah. tell, as a concept, I'm grateful to let's say call it some people call it universe, okay? So how do you show your gratefulness to the creator? By being a good person. Okay, by being a good person, do you only not need guidance? I think most people apparently do because okay, let, even uh, uh, example, because yeah. the proof that we have about capitalism and racism, yeah, I disagree with and that. poverty and violence and rape yeah. shows that a lot of people do not have guidance. That, I agree. So that's the reason why we need objective guidance. That's the reason why we need oh, revelation. But there is no objective. If humans say that the God I follow, no objectiveness. It's what your desire, your passion, your belief. Yeah. So I think. Um, but let, let, let me let me use this phone as a, as, a, as an as an example, okay. right? So do you know that there's a creator behind this phone, correct? Yeah, there's a manufacturer. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, fine. Now let's evil forget about capital. I don't agree with capitalism. Sure, yeah, uh, Islam is against capitalism. Right? Yeah, just so, it yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Islam, do, Islam does Islam uh, Islam enjoins on justice, social justice, political right. justice. So that's absolutely fine. Let, let, let's use the, the the analogy of this phone, right? You know that there's a creator behind behind this phone, correct? Someone made it. Someone yeah. made it, correct. Now, would it make sense that the creator would just create this phone for human beings like us, but with no instruction manual? Does no, that make I sense? I understand what you're saying. I no, no, just just, just the engage. The point we're debating is: yeah. should we look at the manual? The manual? Yeah, yeah manual instruction the guidance. Manual. Yeah, wouldn't you? Of the Bible, or what we think. No, no, forget about the Bible right now. I'm not. I'm not talking about the Quran right now. I'm not talking about the Quran. I'm not talking about the Bible. I'm talking about the concept of needing for guidance, yes. right? So this, so the manufacturer behind this phone, it wouldn't make sense that he would just create the phone but doesn't give us any guidance. Yeah? yeah. So 
Which is more complex, the phone or human being like you? I think that people were born with a menu embedded in the DNA. You know how we know? I already, I already said that to you. Oh. I already said that. I, I already said that. Yes. However, but we need details. Why? Because human being, Allah, basically it's very interesting. Allah says in the Quran, Allah says that, have you not seen the one who takes his desires as his own God? Meaning that people would just follow their desires. For example, people, okay, yeah, think, do you see what I mean? I so you need a moral I anchor. I think you actually, we both agreed that, I believe, if you leave people alone, you don't tell them how to, do, how to behave. Yeah. I actually believe people instinctively will take care of the baby. Correct. Will I agree. feed the hunger, right. hungry. Will take care of the elder. No instruction. But but it's but and the revelation. But the revelation. It's also yeah. Survival. Yeah. A survival strategy, right? The biological instinct of yes. ours. Yes. Yes. So when Darwin was really successful. Yeah. Oh no, he was always successful. But yeah. when, there was a counter theory of uh, Peter Kropotkin, and he. Oh, Peter was, Atkins. No, Kropotkin. Oh, he was okay. a Russian philosopher and a biologist, and he. Actually, from his observation, yeah. he, he proved that animals and humans cannot survive without mutual aid. Okay. So when I'm taking care, of my biological instinct is to take care of you. You take care of me. We are more likely. No, to that's survive. not biological instinct because I believe it is. no, because biology, biology only explains the mechanism of your existence. It doesn't give you moral values. I believe. That's that where there is a philosophical I explanation. If you Take away everything, all the bad influence. Actually, our instinct. For do you know example, why Darwin? Do you know why no, Darwin? Okay. Our instinct is when we have a newborn baby. Yeah. To feed but the that's baby. not biological mechanism. That's not biology. I think it is. It's not because look, look. Let me give an example. Animals have it as well. Uh, animals just go by their instinct. What I'm yeah, saying is, so yeah. I'm saying yeah. But we we we're, we're rational. Yeah, but the rational has to follow the instinct. One hundred percent. Mutual aid. One hundred percent. Caring. 100% and that and Islam that's what Islam Islam comes to to click your sound intellect and your instinct it clicks okay that is the beauty of Islam when you when you understand the concept of God in Islam it aligns with your natural inclination because would you believe there is more than one God would you believe that human beings the the tree deserves to be worshipped no because it doesn't have the power to harm you it doesn't have the power to benefit you would you worship your mother would you worship a human being no because we have to eat and drink that's a sign of a weakness. God, by instinctive evidence, God is all powerful. So Islam is the only religion I will offer. Okay, Isla I Islam. Tell you yeah. something. I just I know it will, it's very hurtful for my son to hear. So Alhamdulillah, Inshallah. Yeah. I do think that God is a concept yeah. made by human. It's a catch twenty-two. In the old days, in the ancient Greek, or when they worship the tree, that what the brain told them that rain what brings the rain what brings the sun yeah. we have to and i think monotheism the belief in one god that is a, a superhuman be above human does that make sense to you no i no i think it's a sophisticated way of thinking but it's still man vision of what god is i, I disagree I, 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 I think, I think, I, I, I think sophistication is to believe there is more than one God. I do worship and the concept of Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Spirit, these three are one. It doesn't make sense. No, but Islam, but, human, but, sorry, let, let me come. Sophisticated human cannot worship no. a tree. I think, I, I, they themselves do, planted. There is a... Do, do you know, do you know, do you know why, do you know why atheist philosophers have to resort to complications? Do you know why? Because by going against believing that there's the creator is counterintuitive, it's counterproductive and it goes against your experience. When you analyze this universe here, from your natural instinct, you know this pop into existence. It has a beginning. Okay? If it has a beginning, it requires an explanation. Why does it exist? Oh, well, okay? I, I think we have so, to, so think, have to so, so, so that think about things we cannot explain. Oh, yeah. And some people take scope for yeah. the explanation of God. Yeah. Not for me. Okay, so... Uh, uh, and I wanted to say something else on, about moral guidance. I think yeah. we need to have communities of care that the community by role modeling what a good social loving moral caring behavior is yeah creating the manual of how to behave that's why we need not by and messengers. the fear of god not by the fear of god but by a community thinking but uh, uh sister that's the reason why god based on his wisdom he sends prophets and messengers okay. yeah to show us how should we worship the creator right 
if there is no revelation, people will go by their instinct. People, you know, when you say, when you say, we know what's good. I agree with that. But good can be polluted by the society. What Wait, do let me complete. Let, 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 let me complete. Let me. Sure, let, sorry, sorry. Let, let, let me complete. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for taking your time. Every human being wants to do good. Yeah. Or but, born, born with it. Born with good. But but yeah. but good is open to interpretation because you know what? I feel good to steal. I feel. No, I disagree with you. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Because, all right, in in another part of the world, they have their own moral. Okay, I disagree. I think ah. the problem when you use good, you use it as a um, relativist term. I have to tell you something about the example of stealing. If everybody will have enough, yeah. not more than they need, not greed, yeah. but if everybody have enough in terms of food, shelter. Um, all the basic no, people meant, will still do it. People will not. Steal. People will still. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. People you know, no, no. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Theft wait, wait, wait. And greed come from a notion he, 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 of Is that your name? Sorry. Is it Hila? Hila. Sorry. Sorry, no, no, no. Hila. Right. Sister is fine. Uh, uh, your circumstances doesn't really matter. If I'm a thief, why would I want to work my, you know, work 12, 13 hours a day when I can easily just steal a property? I don't need to work hard. Yeah, but the concept, right? wait, 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 wait. No, what, you, what you're just saying is that the option is either to work 12, 13 hours a day yeah. or still and get something. But if I, if I don't believe there's God, no, you know what, I, I go for the easy option. Working in 12, 13 hours a day is not a natural thing, it's capitalism. Capitalism forces poverty. So, so you, so, no, no, I'm not talking about capitalism. Capitalism, no, no, sorry, sorry. Sorry, are, sorry, I'm not talking about capitalism. But your values are, the, your theory are based on the fact that we live in a capitalist world. I'm not talking about capitalist world. Not, but we are. No, no, I'm not talking about capitalism at all. I'm, not, I'm talking about moral principles, what no, I'm talking about. When you say, I still have to work 12, 13 hours. Or still. Sorry, or still. Yeah, which one would you choose? That's a capitalist concept. No. I, 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 I choose a, a society, a community. Yeah, I, I come from Bangladesh. Okay. Bangladesh is not based on capitalism. No, but yeah, there are villages, there are poor people in Africa right. who have to work. They have yeah. to work to even get water. Okay, right. so this is not capitalism. Right. Okay, some people work for necessity, for survival. Right. Okay, so please don't tell me about capitalism. I, no, I, I completely but, disagree but about even capitalism. In Bangladesh, there is such. Um, Let's talk about Africa. There is such an exploitation and. Uh, I agree with that. Stealing of the natural resources. I agree with that. Islam is against that. So That's what I'm saying. People would have enough. From my point is, if people would have enough, they would not have to either having a life of semi slave I agree with that, but you've got to be pragmatist. You've got to be pragmatist. Pragmatist? Yeah, pragmatist. Yeah, like you've got to be realist. You've got to be realistic, no, right? Wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Hila, Hila, Hila. Hila. I'm, not, I'm not talking about capitalism. The problem is, you are, you are going by your experience because you're living in this country. You're living in, you know. But go to the other side of the world in Africa. It's not capitalism. They, they're working. No, 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 so let me complete. Hila, 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 Hila. Let me complete. Not, but your is wrong. I'm not you're talking about the government. I'm talking I'm, about citizens. I'm telling you that in Africa, when the Western world has ripped has plunged, I agree. Off, I agree. And there is an internal corruption. My sister, my sister, you're not getting the point. What I'm trying to say is this: you are evaluating a capitalistic model because you're living in this country. Go to Africa. I'm also, let, let me, uh, Hila, 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 Hila let me complete. Okay. Let me complete. Sorry to interject. Right, there are people in Africa who they have to leave their children to die just for survival. That's not capitalism. That's survival. People have to work. That's nothing bad. I don't think it's. I don't. I think you're wrong. So, so, so. Let me. So, so, people have to work. I'm saying the system creates that. We can change that. How system. can you generate? Okay. So, how can you generate economy? If people are not working. So that's a, a capitalist mindset. That's not capitalism. We have more, no. I know you're not a capitalist. I'm not a capitalist. But I'm saying that the concept that you have to work to generate income, to generate food. Do you work? I do, but my... So why are you working then? Because I'm working in a social so you're justice. Oh, and also social justice are, is different to capitalism. No, we are all living in a society right now yeah. that is based on a very, very poor value that you yeah. have to work to get money to have food. Yeah, but that's materialism. I agree with that. I'm, no, 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 no. See, here's, here's the point you're trying to say. I'm in Islam, in, in, in Islam. I'm stuck in, with it. I do have yeah. to feed my children yeah. and send them to university. Yeah. But it's not, not the desired model of society. I, I agree with that. In, in Islam, in Islam, we say that this life 
is only temporary. Right. Okay. Uh, in fact, in fact, the Quran tells us. The Quran tells us, al yeah. uh, takathur that people are so busy in competing, trying to collect wealth and piling. Then Allah reminds us, God reminds us, hatta until they visit their own graves. So Islam is against materialism in that sense. Like if your if your only purpose in this life is to you know make money and ripping people off, no, that's wrong. But however, there is a means of earning livelihood in the correct way, and this is why Islam gives us that framework. One of the objectives that Islam came with, sorry, sorry, one of the objectives that Islam came with. Okay, go on. I'm going to paraphrase what you're saying. Sure. You're saying Islam says, don't be greedy, don't be exploitive. Yeah. Behave well economically and otherwise. Yes. So it has its you, own economic when framework. When you pass this temporary life, you get the kingdom of. Because there's a higher purpose. This is not our high I'm purpose. Saying, same practice, different reason. Don't be greedy, don't exploit, don't accumulate wealth. Care for the other, not because this is a temporary life and then there is heaven, because this is the only life I will have, and I, it's much. And the reason to have this life is to do good to others. I, I agree with that. Regardless, no afterlife. But, but are there bad people? But are there bad people in the world? What? Are there bad people in the world? People so ra raping and yes. okay. So if there's no hereafter, what justice can you give to them? I understand. I understand that it's a comfort that we see all the wrong in the world and be like, okay, they will be punished in the next world. Yeah. I will get heaven in the next world. I think we have to change. Yeah, but that's that. all, that's only within the paradigm that you believe that there's the creator. We build a community yeah. that holds bad people accountable right here, right now. What makes you think Islam doesn't offer that? Oh, I'm not saying that. There you go. I'm just like say, maybe Islam is one option to execute. No, I say it's the only way of life. I understand. Islam Islam basically means submission to the will of the one true God, right? Yeah. And Islam offers a, 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 a paradigm of how the society should be functioning. Let me give you one example. You mentioned about capitalism, right? And I agree that I'm against that. Uh, there is a um, there is a Muslim ruler. Uh, his name is Umar bin Abdul Aziz. May Allah mercy him. When he implemented zakat, so zakat is one of the five pillars of Islam uh, that you have to give 2.5 percent of your excessive saving to the state, so that the state then you know uh, take care of the people. Right? When he, sorry, 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 when he implemented, when he implemented the, the zakat onto the society, he had to go to his public treasury and he was struggling to find anyone who's eligible. Why? Because that's the beauty about Islam. When you implement the zakat, poverty will eradicate. However, let me ask you this question. This is back in the 7th century, a teaching that the Prophet peace be upon him came with. Right now in the 21st century, what's happening to this society? But if you implement, if you implement the zakat, poverty will eradicate. So, Rehan, you need to know what I'm agreeing with you. No. Amazing values in Islam. If people, regardless of they believe in Allah and Prophet Muhammad or not, would follow the key principle of Islam, we will have a wonderful world. Huh? The disagreement that we have, that I'm saying people should be good, should be caring, should be... But what does good mean? I, good, I, I what does it mean? the values of good. I Make, can follow my desires. If I feel like I want to steal, I'll steal. I'm not calling it good. Good means you do good by others. According other. to you, not according to me. Good by me, to me, means then, you protect the vulnerable. You but I don't want to protect the vulnerable. I want what's best for me. So it's not good. Why, why do you say it's not good? No, Rahan, we're a little bit circular. No, 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 no. Uh, what I'm trying to say, there has to be objectivity. Everybody has a different... Uh, like That's why you need objective guidance from the Creator. Okay, I, believe, I understand you think that. Okay, so I'll ask you this the question. The problem that you have, yeah. is that people are claim okay. to follow Islam, and in the name of Islam, they're doing things that are completely evil. Yeah. So let's take God out of so the equation. We see, that we see that putting God in the equation as a concept okay. so, all right, doesn't, fine, fine. doesn't eliminate yeah. people making terrible choices. So Hila, so let's take God out of the equation, right? Okay. I don't know where you're from. Where, you, where uh, what country? I'm from Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Oh, inshallah, Jerusalem. Okay. What's Hello. the what's the legal age of marriage in Jerusalem? Um, I'm pretty sure it's 18. So 18. 18. Do you know what's the legal age in uh, in other parts of the world? What's in uh, in India? What's the legal age? I'm afraid it's younger. Yeah. No, 21. 21. Okay. So, uh, so, 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 who's, so who's right and wrong? But I have to tell you, I know no, 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 women no, no, who are married. No, 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 no,
what's better in terms of age of marriage okay. is to not to say what your God say or what your Prime Minister say, no. but to understand how power relations work when a child is old enough to make decisions about herself and yeah. about her body. Yeah. That's the time that women or men should get married. That's mm. the value, not... I don't know what that... I'm, I'm just not sure where you're getting... Because I, I, because I, if I go to Jerusalem, I can get married to a 16 year old, but in this country I can't. And so... I'm sorry? What, what's right and wrong? Which country is right? Okay, so I do think that you're saying if there is no one manual, one book of laws, yeah. who's to say how, what a good law, what a bad how, law? How do you, how do you determine... Oh, how do you, got it right? Yeah, so how do you determine... Uh, What's the legalities behind a person, you it's know, able to get married? Day, yeah. People are be people are better off, but better off me not having more money or wealth. If people are healthier emotionally and physically, if you have less poverty, if you have people fed, if you have respect and care for each other, that's what that's the way to measure if a behavior is good. Not which country, which law, which god, which prophet said that. But if a society, if people are cared for, right. protected, if we have a real egalitarian society that treats everybody with respect, if those with the power do not abuse their power, but use their power to protect the vulnerable, that's the criteria that I will follow. That's what's good for me. Yeah, but that's how I know capitalism is bad. I think communism is bad. I, 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 well, access yeah. to the world wealth. It's good. Okay, what would you... Regardless yeah. of who wrote it in the book, which God said that, or which country has it in the law. Okay, but, but let's say, for example, there, there is a dictator, right, in a particular country, right? And they, they want to enforce particular, uh, you know, legal jurisdictions, right? Yes. According to the society, they, view, they deem to be good, but you may disagree. No, I think you're misusing the word good. No, no, no. Good doesn't matter anymore. Good... What I meant good is, if you take God out of the equation, yeah. good, we can go by what we think is good. I okay, wait, wait. No, no. I disagree. You have okay. to. I, I, no, I'll, I'll explain to you. Okay, you I'm to, so, Okay, I'm gonna make. To I will apologize. I will apologize for. I will apologize for giving you this analogy. Okay, because okay. I know you're from Jerusalem, and I don't want to take it as offensive, right? Nazi Germany. Okay. You know about Nazi Germany, right? Yeah, they're anti-Semitic people, right? Okay. The Nazi Germany, these kids growing up, they thought it was good to be anti-Semitic. Yeah. Right. And you know why? Do you know why? <laughs> Tyrant people... It's not about right or wrong, it's about what's good and bad. There's a difference. I, oh, I, so I think it's semantic. No, it's not. Uh, okay. I think it's killing not. innocent people is wrong, it's bad. I, I agree with you, but, but, I agree with you, but if you have a dictator like Hitler, yeah, yeah and, and uh, enforcing a, a Nazi regime, and, Hitler, and, and wait, so, let, let me and complete. The, any dictator Hang would on. have not been. It's not one if you if you were brought up in 1945. Okay, no, sorry, I, sorry. Have a, I have a great answer for you. No. All the dictators, all yes. the tyrants, yes. have the power because they either take it with arms or they have people following them, right? Okay. So the concept of a mass following anything is dangerous in my mind. Yeah, but if a child is brought up in a, in a Nazi regime. They were brought up to think it's fine to be anti-Semitic. Yes, yeah, so I would think that... Yeah, but they think it's good. Yeah. I, but that's bad. But also by ah, so do you, need, do you need any objective guidance? Who is right and wrong now? What? It's all arbitrary now. It's all arbitrary. Yeah, but without without, without the creator, everything's arbitrary. I have to say, Rahan, if we, if we just take your concept, okay. Islam is the ultimate truth. And I didn't come to that point. Well, you're not thinking that? No, no, no. We haven't even come to that point yet. Yeah, but that's your that's your starting point. No, that's not my starting point. I know that you're the, the my start my start my starting point. You want to, no, the bottom line. Is no, my no 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 my no my starting point is every human being has this instinctive nature to be grateful to something. Okay, okay. right. And I'm talking about Islam came with the message of Tawheed, to, the the oneness of God. Right to to worship the Creator alone. Why? Think, because think because. Yeah, brilliant. Some people are here because of Allah put them here. The concept of gratitude is inherent to the existence. Yeah. The way to 
in acts of gratitude is to worship Allah. Okay. Is that right? Right. And I'm just, from everybody who's taking the picture, I'm just paraphrasing what Rehan says. No problem. No and problem. you're agreeing with me that people who are born with the inclination to do right. No, I didn't say to that. To do good. Oh. I'm saying we have a natural inclination to recognize there is the Creator. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. so what and there are, and there are, and, 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 and there are universal morals and principles that I we all agree. The natural inclination is. Be believing in higher power is based on a few things. One, because when you were born as children, by this, there is adults, right, who care for us. Yes. There is yes. the ultimate authority. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Until a particular age, yeah. you're completely dependent on them, right, on your parents. Uh, yeah, yeah, to okay. To be fed, to be protected. Okay. To be, so, there is some natural concept of there is a greater power who takes care of me. Correct. I understand. So that's why people search for God or, or explanation. I'll leave, I'll leave, you, I'll leave you one here. more thing. We, we uh, try yeah. to take our personal biological experience yeah. of being born and cared he, by a greater entity yeah. and project it on God or on the world. Yeah, Hila, I'll just end there. Look, look yeah. basically in Islam, uh, uh, Allah mentions in the Quran in chapter 4 verse 36, it says, worship Allah and be good to your parents. Yeah, I know. Okay. Now why? The parents brought you up, changed your nappies, right? Okay, so we should be grateful to our mothers, correct? Because yes. they're feeding us, right? And anybody but who cares for what us, about yes. the one who created your mother in the first place? Why don't you show gratefulness to him? I understand I, I, the difference. No, you understand, but why don't you? How do you show gratefulness? Okay, for example, if, if, if I want to. If I want Rah Rahan, let, me, yeah, let me deal with your question. Okay, go on. You say there is a value to be grateful to God. But there's a value to be grateful to your mother as well. Why not the one who created your mother? Because you think, you believe, that the entity to be grateful to is God. The entity that is behind my mother and her great mother. And yes. yes. And I'm saying... I think that's sorry, I'm grateful. The way to act gratitude to whatever creator made us is to make this world a better place. Yeah, but what I'm saying is this is all theoretical without the Creator. That's what I'm saying. No, but we're not, I'm not disagreeing that there is a higher power. Brilliant. So why don't we be grateful to the higher power? I and am, and my how, way to be grateful how do you, how do you is not to follow you? Islam or Bible. No, okay, so let me give an example. follow my moral compass right. on what it is to be good as Okay, okay, so let me give an example. Let me give an example to you. No, appreciate. but you have to answer me. I, I understand. What you're saying no, is... I wanted to engage like, he, with you. I, I know you're engaging. You said... I, I feel that you... Yeah. No, you said that. No, 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 no. No, you said that you have a moral compass, and I agree with that. Yes. I agree with that. Okay, but however, but I already answered. Yes. Do you remember what I answered before? You I said. Do not think that all people no, I didn't say that. I said Ibn Qayyim, a scholar, said everyone has has some sort of universal morals, but we need revelation for more details. To show, I, I, okay, fine. Wait, wait. Secondly, secondly, secondly. But I disagree with you. Uh, sorry, sorry. You Let, know how I disagree. You know why? How do you know what the creator wants from you? I, I'll tell you. Hold on. I want to answer. But you're not letting me complete. <laughs> no, because you say you need a manual. Wa alaikum assalam. How you doing, someone? You say I need a manual, and I'm telling you, I do not follow the Islam. You know, I do not follow Judaism. I told you, right, yeah. you, but I'm still obviously. So you're following your desires. But okay, so my no, I think you have. Oh, you're, you're following your desires. Okay, my desires are to be a social justice activist. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, I'm a social activist too, and right. and, and you know, no, sorry, Perfect. sorry, no, 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 listen, listen, I I can, I can say that look, in a moral compass, I want to do good, I want to be good, I I want to uh, I want to establish social justice, and my way is, you know what, let's plunge and make people in the third world. Yeah, but, but that. Han, you keep so, repeating wait, wait, wait. This. You're saying if each of us would follow our moral compass, right? Let me see that I got it. Okay. Some people would think that being evil is moral. I'm, I'm simplifying it. And that's why we need God and we need Muhammad to tell us no. Killing someone innocent is bad. Um, unfeeding the hungry is bad. Being violent is bad. You're saying I need God to tell you this detail. Yeah, but, and I'm saying no. Yeah, but it's, it's all Saying that, our, so Hila, your Hila. System, how come God, if we believe in Hila, Hila, them, Hila, you know, how come God made me like this? But Hila, but, but Hila, all, 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 of, all of your all of your explanation, it shows to me that you're talking about utopian world, like it's a perfect right. world. Yeah. But we're not living in a perfect world. Right. You've got to be pragmatist and realist that there are bad people out there. What? You've got to be realistic that there are pe bad people out there, correct? Yeah. But your but your framework shows that it's a utopian world, it's a world of perfection, that everyone can be good. Yes. No, there are people who follow the...
Right. So my question is, what is the moral anchor? And we say that, look, you can do bad here, but in the hereafter, you don't get away with it. I understand. The Quran mentions chapter 4, verse... And I'm saying, yeah. right. actually, right. the way to guarantee so what's the solution? Behave well Right, so how, how do we make the sure they behave well? Accountability. Exactly. You're saying that accountability is a better life. Yeah. I'm saying accountability now, okay. for creating the community okay. that holds bad people accountable. So by Hitler, what's it, what was his accountability? How many people did he kill? How many Jews did he kill? Six million Jews. Yeah. What about the five million, nine hundred ninety-nine million, nine hundred ninety-nine Jews? What's the justice? You just killed him. That's not justice. The perfect justice is the yeah, hereafter. See, I'm Allah, that Allah, like Allah, him, Allah, sorry, sorry, Allah listen, says. I'm uh, Khan. I work with women victims of rape and male violence. Yeah. How do you get the society yeah. that I want to believe to live? They were not going to be raped. And be raped because men will be held accountable. That's what you think. Yeah, but I have to tell you, I don't uh, uh, get their justice uh, uh, or uh, uh, the next. It's a utopian world, a perfect world. Exactly. There are rapists that go, that gets away scot free. What sure, justice? But you think it's comforting for me to know that in a afterlife it will go to hell? Now, isn't that better? I don't believe it. Oh, so, so let's say you have a child. I prefer let, that to let, have a society. Let, let, let's say you have a child. Stops now. Let's say you have a child who has cancer, right? Yeah. And they're, 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 they have a terminal illness, right? What? You're just going to give them palliative care? No, everything's fine. You're just going to turn into dust? Is that, what, is that is that the, is that is that hope for the child? No, I'm actually, gonna, I'm not going to believe that he has that the child will have a positive afterlife. I'm going to give him medicine now. No, but you, uh, let's say he's beyond your capacity now. Okay. He's going to die. Terminal so, illness. Yeah. What? What comfort are you going to give that child then? What did, what did the child do wrong that he got cancer? Okay, what about the child cancer? Because it's different when you talk about his child. The child yeah. needs all kinds of comfort. I'll tell you, if I have cancer today, yeah. my comfort is not going to be that I will go to heaven. My yeah. comfort is to be, I raised two amazing children. Mm. I, um, yeah, but you're going to turn into bone and dust. Better women. Yeah, and many, That's many so sad. So evil, so and an, evil, an, e an, an evil person, an evil person who, who deals with narcotics and drugs, right? They live till they're 80 years old. A perfect life, you know, comfortable life. Yeah. And they, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me. People need the comfort that's why you need Almighty God. I prefer that my that, that's very that's very unjust to me. Knowing that I was a good human on this earth, yeah. doing good things when I was alive. But an evil person, but but, in, but an evil person who who outlived you, who outlived you, they they turn into dust and bones like you are. Well, where's the justice? Yeah. Where's the justice? I know there's a word that you don't believe that the next life exists. For example, the company make this one, the same company can make it again and again, right? What's that moral compass? She says that uh, she, she does accept there's a higher power. Uh, at least she doesn't need guidance from the creator. Like she's got a moral compass already. In. She's going by that. Some is it, that's what but at the same time, there is a boundary. Correct. Where does that boundary come from? Exactly. Society, religion, what subjectivity? So that's yeah. it. That's, that's what that's what I was asking. Yeah, you can mention that again. Well, that's why you say, you give the example somebody kill his children. How are you going to pay for it? Exactly. Just do it. I'm going to end, end, end the discussion here, man. I don't want to become like too heated. Heaven will be on this side. Where we exist right now. I believe we can. You know, you know, you know, us, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. We all against you know, we're all, uh, uh, Hila, Hila. We all against violence. Yeah, we all, uh, yeah. We all against poverty. Uh, Hila, Hila. Hila, Hila. Hila, Hila. Hitler was a, definitely was a dictator, correct? He killed six million Jews, right? And we, every person who has sound intellect would say this is wrong. Okay, that's anti Semitism, that's haram. Prohibiting Islam, right? What accountability will to Hitler? You know what they did here? They, they probably put him in the gas chamber, correct? I don't know how he died. Yeah, he killed himself. Yeah, he killed himself, correct. So, imagine, that's not perfect justice. He killed himself. No, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, wait, wait. Hila, let me compete. Let me compete. I know burning in hell is probably going be nice. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. So, an evil person can get away scot free. No, I think That's not justice. That's it, then I can do whatever I want then. Yeah, that's not justice then. That means I can do whatever I want. Society, it's all great that you're saying that. It's all, it's all. You, you're, you're picturing a utopian world. I think okay. you're, you're, you're picturing a utopian world. That we have no idea if it exists. I'm sorry. I think the concept of heaven and hell is utopian. Right, women. A concept of hell and heaven is utopian. Yeah. But at least there's an, at least there's a solution. Emotion you don't have a solution. It's not a real solution. It's a, 
but it's an emotional comfort. It's not going to change things. So imagine, uh, go, go, God forbid, let's say your your, your son, uh, let's say your son, something happened to your son. I, I don't know so, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all personal. It's all personal with all due respect. Okay? So it's all personal. Yeah? It's personal to me as well. Personal to you. So, give let, let, so let, let's say, let's say, Something bad happened to your son, God forbid. Something happens to your son. Your son is a perfect character, he's got good manners, perfect character. And that evil person murderer, right? Yeah, he probably gets life imprisonment, whatever the case. He probably gets nice treatment, getting all the food, comfy. But you on the other hand, you know what? You have to suffer. You have to suffer. And there's no perfect justice for this evil person. Do you know what Islam says? You'll be held accountable on the day of judgment. You know, I, I tell you what, when things, uh, you, you deal with, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Go on. Yeah, go on. I think that, that's the problem with my, the example of my own son, but in general, I believe that the person who kill another person, okay. I don't want to talk about my son, I don't want to cry, so, the person who kill another person, well, well, the world is made up of people. Yeah, yeah so, the person, yeah, but okay, yeah. the person who kill another person, yeah. very, very likely, had terrible childhood, Yes. suffered a great deal, Yes. and where the society failed him first. So without God, why does that happen? Why, why do bad things happen to good people? You tell me. I don't understand. Okay, so without God, without yeah. God, why do bad things happen to good people according to you? I don't know, but with God, why do bad things happen to good people? I'll tell you why, because this life is a test for the hereafter. That's the reason. Yeah, we're undergoing a test. When I, when, you know what you gave the Holocaust as an example? When so many innocent people are taken to the death camp, what test is it? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. What, 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 what perfect justice has been given to Hitler? What, killed himself? Yeah, but what kind of God creates so much suffering of innocent people? Ah, what so, so, so now you're talking about the problem with evil. So that comes with the presupposition that you believe in God. Otherwise, don't I'm bring it up. To engage with that. No, 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 no. Before we move on about the problem with evil, you first yeah. have to accept that there is God. Yeah. Why? You have no moral ground. Because you have no moral ground. Uh, Your morality is subjective. It's subjective. But when you have... I can't, I can't follow the okay. Yes. Yeah. No, no. I told you why my morality is not subjective. It is subjective. I, I'm, I'm disagreeing with you. Why not? Because you're saying moral of God is objective, my moral is subjective. And I'm yes. saying my moral is not subjective. It's measured if this is creating good to humanity. And I told you what my measure is. Who wrote a hero? What, what's humanity? What, what does humanity mean? I don't know what humanity means. What does it mean? What does humanity mean? Yeah, what, what, what does it mean? What does it mean? What does humanity mean? Yeah, what is humanity? Yeah. What, do you, what do you mean by saying good to like, uh, humanity? Why should, I, why should I have an obligation to be good to the world? No, it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to demonstrate to you. I'm, try, I'm trying to demonstrate. You have a circular concept that we should have gratitude to God. There is a reason we should follow God. If we're good people, we will get to heaven. If we're bad people, we'll get to hell. Okay. Did they got that right? And I'm saying, yeah. no. So you're following your desires? Uh, I think it's a... That's your God. I think it's a cheat to call it desire. That is your desire. Allah so where's the, where's the boundary? Where's the boundary? You, I'll tell you. Because desire, the word desire, is so much associated with self-indulgence that I don't think it's an appropriate word. It is appropriate. You know, you know Jeremy. Bem you know Jeremy Bentham. Jeremy well, Bentham. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so, with I, I am. I am. You're just waiting for me to no. lose my sense. Put something else. So no, 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 no. There is a doing. difference. There is a difference between moral judgment and desire. And I have an individual moral judgment that I did not make it up. Desire. Uh, I tell you the difference. There are values that a lot of people will agree are better for humans. Right. Who, uh, what, what, what? And apparently. They're consistent with what the Islam says. But Hila, what Take care of the poor. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about that. No, no, Hila, Hila, Hila. But people will follow their desires. Okay? Because their fitrah, their natural instinct of being good is corrupted. Why? Because it's corrupted because of their motives. Well, probably because they want more money. So, 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 so what's the boundary? Where's the boundary? There has to be a boundary in place. Right, so what's your boundary? Community about. Well, who, uh, uh, why, why should I go by what, the, what, by what the community says? What do they know? And so, what do they know? 
What, what, what do the community know? What boundaries? You tell me. I think... How would you like that? I can tell you from when I had babies. Okay. I could tell... When he has a little brother, his instinct... He has a little brother, Omar, my youngest son. He's all crying, he would go to him and say, Oh, the baby's crying, mom, let's give him a meal. Yeah, yeah. Hungry, every time he would go to a birthday party, he would ask a second piece of cake. You were behaving, you were behaving well, yeah? Yeah. Mashallah. For his little brother, his instinct when he was a baby, and he had good parents, his father and me, so we did nothing to fear with his good instinct yeah. to take care of the little brother. Great, that's you. That's, that's human that, is, that is absolutely great. Yeah. But you know what? Go and speak to people who come from broken homes. Yeah, yeah you tell me. So we okay, need you know, to wait, 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 wait. Less it's prisons, all less prisons. Do you know I think you're? Do you know, please don't take it. Please, please don't take it as an offense. But I think you're more capitalist than me. I'll tell you why. Because you're only talking about from your perspective. Okay, what's good for me? And I, I want to impose on others. It's like, wait, 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 wait. I'll tell you why. Because you're talking about your son. Yeah, you brought up your son well and everything. Yeah, but what about broken homes? What's happened to them? That's my work. That's right. We have an obligation yeah. to support those broken homes. I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not denying that, but what I'm asking you, what I'm so I'm not saying it just to myself. Yeah. I'm saying every family, every mother who cannot take care of her child, yes. what we should do is help this mother and help this family. 100% I agree with that. Yeah. I agree so with that. But, 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 but my question to you is, why did it? How is it only about myself? Wait, wait, I, I'll tell you what. My value says, Every because when I brought up, when, be like because when I brought up, when I brought up about your child, you had an issue. What? When I brought up about your child, that if something bad happens to him, yeah, you find it personal. Yeah, but I don't like yeah, but ev 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 everything takes things personal, right? I've got my mom, I've got my family, I want what's best for them. Okay. Now I may have disagreements about what you think is good to mine. So why are you posing on me? You, no, 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 you have your no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, but not by. Okay, you're saying so you want your reality, by the way. I didn't say I want my reality. I'm saying to you why Islam offers a solution. And I think all people should do that. And I'm saying I believe in moral compass of individuals, and I believe we can create communities that are living by those moral compass. But you need boundaries. You need boundaries. So where do you get the boundaries? I think society should put the boundaries. We should not pretend that God put them. So, 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 are you are you telling me that God has been the creator? So what are you going to do, Hassan, with all the people who claim to be Muslim? Sorry. What are you going to do with all the people who claim to be Muslim? What do you mean, claim to be Muslim? ISIS. And they're not Muslims. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Claim to be Muslim. Yeah, that's in that class of theology. That, okay, that's what I'm saying. Claim to be Muslim. Yeah, okay. Right? Because they're not Muslim. Okay. What's your point? What are you going to do with all the people who think they follow the Islam and really yeah. abusing Islam? We educate them. We educate them. Okay. Yeah? I think you should start with them. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'm, not talking, I'm not talking to an ISIS supporter. I'm talking to you. Okay? If there was an ISIS supporter, you know what? There are many people there. You know, they do so. I don't. Okay? I, I, I condemn them. you have with me? Yeah. You're dealing with someone who believes. But you've one, got people who are born to do good. No, people are not born to do good. People are born to know this good, but the question is, do they follow their desires or not? Do they want to do good? That's what I'm saying. That's why you need accountability. You need guidance. Do you know, do you know what? Um, someone... But the truth is, if, uh, I, think yeah. I think we will have a perfect world if all people will be it's, either like you or me. It's, 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 it's all great. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You know, you're, you know, you know Sister, what? you deal with yeah, cases yeah. of rape. Yes, exactly. And yet you're trying to explain to me a utopian world? How I, do you deal with the reality? Are you serious? If I would How not do you believe we can end rape... Sister, no, 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 sister, rape? sister, you're trying to paint a utopian world. That we need but to you, get to. Right, but, but you're not okay. giving me a solution. I, okay, I did give you a solution. You yeah. just don't think... It's subjective, though. It's subjective. Your solution is subjective, to be fair, because your solution depends subjective. on the social consensus of the environment yeah. you're living in. And therefore, look, for example, if you live... Uh, if you no, what you said is very, very... Yeah, so, yeah. Accurate, thank you. Yeah. So, if, for example, when you live in the time of Hitler, the social consensus at that time... That's was, what I'm saying. Well, like, for example, that like the Jews are radicalized, Jews are these type of individuals. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, what they're going to do is murder those Jews. 
Therefore, according to your principles, living in those Thank environments, you. You. you would have to follow what the subjective opinion and the social consensus is. You're Therefore, actually following the society. Exactly. You don't realize what that. You're not say, following what you think is good. You're following the society. What we say is that, for example, we, the reason why we follow God's legislation is because we believe God's legislation is objective. For it's example, objective. murder will always be wrong. Yes. Rape will always be wrong. Correct. These principles will never change. For example, if you lived in ancient Sparta, if you were a baby and Correct. it was definitely, uh, like for example, as disabled and stuff, what they would do, according to the social consensus, Correct. they would kill that baby. They said that baby has no value. It cannot help me in the battlefield. But if you're a consistent Muslim that has objective law from the time of Adam... You are a fantastic argument. Like, you make great arguments. This really? is what I... The difference between you and me. You write about the So do you agree with that principle then? No, what I want to tell you then, because I'm a social justice activist, yep. I believe that we can create society that the social consensus is a social consensus of community. But he just gave an example. Sister, he just gave an example of social sister. consensus sister, where it's okay to kill Jews. No, exactly, I, sister. I, I, so from that principle, sister, if you were living in Nazi Germany, that's how I would said you that agree well. with the social consensus? Why no. not? That you're, going, you're being inconsistent now. You're being I'll inconsistent. Tell you why. I, you know, I'll tell okay, you. Why, tell me, tell me. I, from Jerusalem, right? That's fine. I'm a Jew. Okay. The social consensus in my country, yeah. or in the country I come from, is occupation. I do not agree with that. I renounced my citizenship. That's I went fine. against the social yeah. consensus because it's wrong. Yeah, but that's, so I, I sister, say, that's, that's not a good point, though. Let me tell you why. No, with, with all you, oh, go on, go on. I, if, if enough individuals with yep. moral compass yep. will go against bad social consensus yeah. we will create social change can I respond to that so the people that had the social consensus that they believe that the Jews were bad yeah, they would right. say to you no He's much better this is, the, than me. This is yeah. the social consensus therefore you know you have no right no you have no right no but once it, sister, listen I understand yeah like in, for example Muslims we have, I'm not saying social consensus yeah. is good unfortunately so therefore it's subjective then then it's subjective so sister like, the point you're trying Thank to make you. is yeah, that because social so sister, sister, sister feelings opinion you think with the people who disagree with themselves? Okay. Yeah, so no, no, can, can, can I elaborate that? Yeah. Ah. That makes it objective. But right. so what is the criteria? You what is the criteria? What's your foundation? Yeah. Are people harmed? Okay. Are vulnerable what? people are harmed okay. and protected? And are people are hungry or fed? Is there poverty or is there capitalism? But sister, who made this principle this is though? My mind okay, but who made this principle and where is it applied? Um, Was it applied in, in Germany? Have Was, I'm not following Islam. That's fine, yes. sister, but I'm not saying that. That's no, not the point. But that's not the point. My sister, that's not, that's not the your point. values. That's sister. your values. Listen, yes. that's your values, but for the sake of consistency, yeah. you would have to accept that if you believe social consensus is a parameter yeah. for life, yeah. it's objectivity for life, then therefore, from your principles that you're using with this brother, that you would have to apply the same principle in Germany. Look, I understand your point. You're trying social to say, sister, consensus I, is not only okay. if the social consensus is bad, yep. we have an obligation so how do you to fight against sister, sister. But that was the norm. But that was the norm back then. Yes, Nazi Germany. And, and people should have been yeah, so that means it's acceptable. That means it was acceptable then. But yeah. it doesn't make it okay. No, but sister, what, uh, that's not the what point. Are your parameters? That, that What's your parameters? For them, they think it's okay because that's right. their parameters. Yes. Yes. Their parameters is that I'm living in this specific society, therefore whatever they're doing, I believe is good right. because of the majority. Right. But yeah, if, yeah, yeah. for example, in Islam, that consensus can never change. Why? The legislation that Allah has revealed will always be perfect the legislation. Be consistent. That's why, sister, let me give you an example, yeah? 500 years ago in this country, what was the, what was the punishment for homosexuality? No, I know it's a little bit. I no, please engage. Please engage. I want to make a point if you don't mind. Yeah? So what no, but I'll tell you what you're doing. You have to, get, you know, no, you have to engage with me. No, sister, but you, remember you, you said engage me, with us. You convinced okay, that's fine. me. Okay. Fantastic. That just saying, whatever the social consensus, yep. that's the moral purpose. Yeah. It can lead to very bad things. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Thank you very much. So we're in the same page, yeah? Yeah. So how do you deal with that? Exactly. Go on. The way you deal with that is. It doesn't matter what the social consensus is, the fact that it's social consensus, the criteria is if it's good or not, if it follows Muhammad. Yeah, but the social consensus is about what they're bad. But I'm saying, yeah. I disagree on that. with you. I, th I think we have a different understanding of this terminology. No, no, I'm, do you know what social consensus mean? What yeah, does it mean? What does it mean? What, what good? No, no. What does it mean? Social it consensus. Means we all, we all society is a great society. Right. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, so there are. So they do define what's good and bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. The yes. subjective concept of good yeah. and bad. That's okay. the whole point we're making, yeah. sister. That's all subjective. Subjective concept of good and bad, of good and bad. Yes. And it has consistency with Islam values. It has consistency with Buddhism. Sister, 
no, 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 First Nation people, yeah. they follow different gods, yeah. they still came to the same conclusion that it's better to feed the hungry than to exploit the hungry. Sis, that's not the point. That's not the all point. All due respect, yeah, that's not all the point that we're trying to make to you. That's not the we're point. We're trying to make to you to the point that your principle, of course, I believe, like, of course, it's not the social consensus. Yes. You also believe that, for example, you have something in yeah. the inside of you that you believe that, you know, for example, I've already mentioned that to you. Yeah. Feeling is wrong. I do believe we yeah. have that innate disposition. Yeah. Because Islam tells us. Allah says that every single person is born with fitrah. You're born a natural inclination. For example, if I'm hitting a baby, that automatically I don't need anything for me to know Correct. that is wrong. But at the same time, when you have these principles, sister, it's really subjective. How does it be defined? And you know your principles, are they applied in ancient Greece? When for example there was little children that grew up disabled, no, no, I, I that, that they weren't thinking, sister, let me finish please. Eh? So, let me, I no, 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 I just want to uh, get a if point. If you're already convinced, that yeah. means we need a creator then no, to give I, us guidance. Object I just want to Correct. make a point like, yes. so for example, at that time, thinking, this baby, you know, has no value because it's disabled, would not benefit me in war. Of course, not just a social consensus, but there was no one telling them that, oh, you know what, you know, it's wrong, you know, it's a natural disposition. Why? Because as his brother, the brother said, it's a really good point that I think you should really emphasize on. That we all have that, of course, in the disposition, but at the same time, it does not mean that we're going to always do good. There's going to be people that are going to be evil exactly. as well. Exactly. Why? Because sister, the brother has mentioned many times, we're not living in utopia right now. Exactly. We're living in a, in a situation where people can be subjective. Now, the reason why we follow God, because God is objective and humans are subjective. subjective. And what the brother was saying was the verse in the Quran, do not take your desires as your Lord. And that's what people do. I do understand your parameters. I respect that. But not everyone's the same as you, sister. Unfortunately, you're so right. It's Unfortunately, no, let, let it complain. It's not you. It's, I wish everybody would be like you. Unfortunately, you write about the fact that history has a lot, a lot of terrible examples yeah. how the social consensus Absolutely. was violent and harmful. Yeah. Thank you for admitting that. Yeah. Absolutely. What we don't know that much, but history is full of unrecorded examples of people acting against the social consensus. Even in the Holocaust, there were Germans who paid with their lives because they saved Jews. And they said, not in my name, right? There were uh, very, very famous Polish um, author who was running an orphanage. A Polish Christian. Oh, yeah, I, I heard of it. I heard of it. I heard of it. I forgot his name, but yeah. Janusz Korczak. We're not denying yes. there's good people, even yeah, in the there are good people. Yeah. So We're I not think, denying that. We're not but denying the principle that. Is the majority, the majority. At that time was doing the harm, and why? Because of that I principle think used. I even convince people yeah. to be good. Objectively good. No, you cannot convince people to be objectively good because you you don't have. What is the definition of good? Because you have. No, that's what I was asking. The definition of good is. But your definition. Social justice. But that's subjective. That's subjective. Prove that to me. That is objective. A hungry, a hungry person right. or a fed person. Sister, do you agree? A homeless person or a house person. Do you agree? That's do you agree? Do you agree? In 50 years' time, this you know criteria that you have can be changed. <laughs> yeah, it can. It can be changed. Oh my days. For example, why was homosexuality illegal 100 years ago? Yeah. Why is it illegal now? Yeah. I think that's only good example. No, no if you live 50 years ago, that, you would say that time, you would be arguing that you know what it is bad, but because you're living what in a. Is your name? My name is Osama. 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 Yes. Yeah. Osama. You already convinced. Uh, I'm already. I think she's already convinced. Yeah. I'm convinced. Yeah. Convinced. Yeah. convinced. Let's, let's go there. Yeah, he's better than me, man. And you, all and you just made a new argument that saying social consensus is something flexible. It changed. Okay. A hundred years ago, homosexuality is illegal. Now it's legal. Yeah. It's true. And the difference between you and me is you saying the way to maintain positive, consistent, what objectivity you say, objective is Islam. Concept is by following the Islam. And I'm still yeah. saying. I'm not following Islam, and I still think all the things that I believe that I think follow them. Yeah, but you're one out of a billion people. You're only I one out of 6.7 billion. Okay, but sister, do you accept there's a creator? <laughs> yeah, that's true. But do you accept there's a creator that exists? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. something. So, yeah. do you so who would know, who yeah, would know the creation exactly, better? Us exactly. or the creator? What? Who would know what's good and bad for us? That's very complicated. No, no, hang on. That's a really simple question. Hang on. Go on. Go on. No, no, no. For example, if I... I don't know if the creation... I'll, I'll give... Elaborate, elaborate. I'll give you the example. This phone right here. I'll tell you. 
I'm trying to make a point. Trying to make a point. Please, hey, Hila, I'm trying to make a point. Kindly, kindly. The no, look, you're not sorry to interject. Sorry, I'll, I'll let you come. I'll let you're you come back. Sorry, but that's okay. I'm not sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Okay, okay then, then we neutralize. <laughs> so you know this form requires a creator, correct? The creator must possess knowledge, correct? The creator must have the will. The creator must have the power, the ability to create this phone, correct? Right. So, if the creator created this phone, and if this creator, if this phone gets damaged, who can recreate? Okay. I agree with you. The creator has a greater knowledge. The create, for example. Yeah. But I'm saying this knowledge is imprinted in our DNA. Who gave you that knowledge? The creator. Fantastic. So why but don't we? So why? That wait, aligns with Islam. That aligns with Islam. Alhamdulillah. So my question is. No, so, sir, sir. Go on. You're getting there, you're getting there, inshallah. To be consistent with the Creator is, you know how it, there is all the ecosystems that are um, feeding each other and making sure that the, like every, from the worm to the tree to the butterfly to the sun, yeah. all works to feed each other and to protect each other. That's an ecosystem. Yes. It's an ecosystem, yeah. I think the natural instinct of people is to work in a good ecosystem. Yeah, we don't deny that. Yeah, so that's not enough, though, sister. That's not enough, sister. That's not, that's enough. not enough. What I'm trying to say to you that natural instinct that we have, we agree it exists. Like the brother said, it aligns with the con Islamic concept of fitrah, yeah. mashallah. But the thing is, that's not enough. Why? It's not because enough. It you need revelation. Corrupted. If you right. live in a specific okay, environment, yeah, we have. Yeah, to, we'll be, it's really Osama. Yes, yes. I just we're really agreeing about that. Okay, sister, but I want to get to the next no, point now. You're no, really agreeing about. I understand that, sister. Our natural instinct is good. It has yeah. been corrupted. That's yeah, fine. correct, Are correct. Be fair. So we have three principles here. Yeah. No. Society, there are a lot of examples of social consensus. Which are bad, of course. Bad. That change. Yeah. We have They're not consistent. That it's changed, it's yeah. flexible. And Therefore, we, we shouldn't follow them. Yes. And yeah. we have, uh, so we should follow objectivity. No, no. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, of course. And the other thing we agreed is that we all want this inclination to yep. do good, Fitra. but it has been corrupted. So far, so it that, look, now we, I agree that. You now know, the question is, on, where do you take the manual? Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To make the world better. That's it. Absolutely. And like this phone, like this phone, like this phone, the create that like this phone, the creator will have the knowledge, knows what's good and bad for the phone. Similarly, this phone is more, it, 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 our, us as our existence is far more complex than the phone. Yes. So therefore, we should go about what the Creator wants us to do. Can I give another example? Alhamdulillah. The Alhamdulillah. To do, yeah. We already know. Not from the Quran. No, no, yeah. Alhamdulillah. We, we got it. We got it. Need to be protected yep. and cared for. Yeah. That's how we treat all human beings. Now, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. We, 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 we came to an agreement now. Sister, can I give an example? Came to an agreement now. Nature, creator, the universe. Nature is not an entity. Nature is not an entity. Just terminology. God, we we'll call it God, told us what to do. Yes. You see a baby, hungry, you feed it. Cold, you clothe it. Crying, you cuddle it. That's how we should treat every human No, 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 I think you misunderstood. Number one is there's theoretical and practical. Oh, right. So yes, okay. theoretically, yes, everyone's embedded to, to do what's good. But what's the practicality? So That's why we need revelation. So I you understand, understand that we're yeah. disagreeing only on that. You're saying yeah. We're agreeing to the way the bad, bad things are. Yeah, we're yeah. agreeing the potential of change. Yes. We're disagreeing of how who to get those instructions from. Correct. Because if it will be, I understand that you're saying if it will be your way, you just want. It's not my way. No, no, sister. No, you want to Oh, okay, okay. To okay. my way. Okay, okay. you will a good person. You say don't break, don't exploit, but. What are you more special than a person who says break and explode? You're just a human and a human. No, sister, look. What you're having is God, objective. Let's, let's go to the principles. So we should follow the God instead of Why wouldn't God. you? I mean, why, no, why, 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 would, why wouldn't you? Why would we hang on? I to get back to you. Hila, one more bit. Why wouldn't you follow the instruction manual of the manufacturer of this phone? Why wouldn't you? Do you know what's good and bad for this phone? No. So similarly, God, Almighty God, He created us with a purpose. You, uh, this is and the purpose is to I worship Him. I think yeah. if we have a choice, Yes. Between people being bad, objectively bad, exploiting capitalists, violence, yes. or follow the Islam, I rather they should follow the Islam. Okay? Alhamdulillah. Okay, I stick by so have you considered the Quran then? I have you read the Quran? I read the Quran. I read the pieces in the Quran that related to what Prophet Muhammad said about my people. What do you say about your about, people? Uh, that God, I think the Quran describes uh, Moses and the burning bush a yes. little bit different, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and 
the, the Quran is talking about Pharaoh. Fir Pharaoh, yes, Pharaoh, yes, yes. And yes. Uh, Moses leading the people of Israel. Correct. Out. Correct. Yeah. Because that's, I was I was interested to see the difference and uh, the treatment of Muhammad to to the history of the Jewish people. So I looked at that. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. No, I have no doubt. The Muhammad do you believe do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? I believe that uh, I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't no, no, know. No, be honest, be honest. I believe that he was a very, very honorable, noble, gifted man. Okay. For sure. Yeah, yeah, because amongst his community, and he was called uh, Al Amin. Yes. I believe the same about Moses. I, I agree. Yeah, no, <laughs> Here's the thing Islam. Islam, really Islam did. actually confirms the Jewish prophets. Adam, Abraham, yeah. Noah, Noah. No. Adam, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. I know Islam. Already. That's it. So, yeah, prophet, so Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he is the last and final messenger of God. No prophet will come, will come after him. Imagine in, 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 in a time of Arabian Peninsula where there was, a, there was a hatred between the Arab and the Jews. And yet the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said one of the best women to live on the face of this earth is the mother of Jesus. Mary oh, yeah. and, and Jewish prophets Solomon, David, yeah. Abraham, Moses. Uh, sorry, Abraham wasn't a Jew, sorry. But I'm saying no, Moses. Abraham was the first Jew, right? No, he wasn't. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, yeah. Abraham but Abraham was a Muslim. Well, what we say. Accepting yeah. God. Uh, yeah. What we say is. Being chosen by God or go what, build what, the temple, yeah. Yeah, what we say is Islam doesn't come with a new message. We believe we believe all the Jewish prophets, I know, I know and that. as well as the Prophet Muhammad came with the same message with the oneness of God, yeah. right? But now let's test if he's actually a messenger of God or not, yeah. right? Is he lying? Is he speaking the truth? Is he deluded? You have to test that, yeah. right? And I would argue that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi must be a true prophet, and I tell you why. The prophet. No, I'm sure there are a lot of evidence for his great. So, uh, so, so if you're saying he's a very honourable character. Yeah. Doesn't that really strengthen the belief he must be messenger of God? I think we have to stop. I mean, I mean there is no... What is stopping you? No, no, I... I don't think it's an objection, I think it's more resistance. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I feel that if, it, I if it's an honourable... from following any human being, whether or not they're messengers of whatever entity or God they are. Okay. And also, I think I told someone else... Yeah, yeah. That I do not practice Judaism. I know, I know. But I have a lot of respect for Judaism until the 20th century, the 21st century. And as a respect for my forefathers who suffered for their belief and persecuted for their belief, yeah. I maintain emotional attachment to Judaism. But you know what I would argue? One, one more thing before, uh, before I let you go. And I thank you for taking your time. If I hurt your feelings, if I hurt your feelings, I apologize. Thank you very much. I would say, look, even when you read the, the um, when you, even when you read the Bible, the Jewish Bible, I know you don't believe the New Testament. Uh, I, I know you don't believe the Old Testament generally because it's corrupt and I do that. But from an Islamic, from an Islamic stance, we do accept that Moses was given the Torah. But however, we don't have the original Torah that was given to Moses, it went to the Jews. I believe that uh, Moses accepted the Torah. I believe that the Jews believe in it. No, no, we, no, no, we believe that no, Moses... I know that, yeah. the, I know that the Muslim people, um, whatever Muhammad said in the Quran, yes. that, which is sometimes consistent with the Bible, sometimes not. I, exactly. And Muhammad is probably more right. So, so that's very Bible interesting. The translation is so messy. That's very interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting because the Quran is described as uh, al muhaymi the quality control over the previous scriptures. So it's meant to be quality control. So anything that agrees with the Old Testament, we have no problem accepting it. But anything that contradicts with the Quran, we disagree. Like about Moses killing infant, we disagree with that. But in between, we neither believe nor we disbelieve. Exactly. So what we say is, even within uh, the corrupted text, now just because it's corrupted, doesn't mean that there's no remnants of truth. Yeah, there are some remnants of truth. When you read the Jewish Bible, there is a prophet as a 42. It speaks about a servant. A servant will, uh, uh, God will appoint him as a servant. He will be, he will be, uh, he will uh, be sent to the to the Gentiles, Goyim, you know Goyim, to the Gentiles, right? And the villages of Kedar will rejoice. Who is Kedar? According to Genesis chapter 25, verse 13, Kedar was the second son of Ishmael, which is from the lineage of. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So, Rahan, you're basically telling me if you do follow Judaism, you need to know that 
the authentic Jews did predict the arrival of Muhammad. Yes, that's why the, the, the that's why uh, uh, you know Medina. Uh, yeah, Mecca and Medina, correct. So Medina at that time was called Yathrib, before the time of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. 200, 300 years before, the Jewish tribe they were setting in, uh, in, um, in Yathrib. Why did they? Why would the Jews, why would they stay in a land where they have hatred to the Arabs? Because they were expecting the final Prophet, and this is documented. This is documented, and we have a uh, uh, Abdullah bin Salam. Uh, may Allah be pleased with him. He was the leader of the Jewish tribe. He accepted Islam. Ka'ab bin Ahbar. I have no problem with that. that if so today, then... But I find it quite. I find it quite interesting that you you accept Prophet Muhammad, an honourable man, a respected man. So do you not think that an honourable, respected man? Do you think he would lie? I'm not sure. I, for sure, there is no lying. There is always good intention with people like him. But he came with. He came. Yeah. Also yeah. And yeah, but he doesn't claim to be a prophet. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many strong evidences for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'll give you one evidence. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said that a time will come when barefooted Arab Bedouins will compete each other in constructing tools. I believe that people like Prophet Muhammad yeah. are gifted with greater or more divine qualities uh, and can be a compass. What do you mean they were given divine qualities? Uh, that they can be used as a moral compass guider. So we believe, yeah, so we believe the Quran. But it's yeah. than, I think it's a little bit different. But I don't want to hurt Muslim people. And You're not here to hurt. <laughs> not you, but it's recorded no, 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 no. and I don't want to be... We're here for the truth. We're all going to die one day. We're going to be questioned. I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. No, okay. I'm pretty confident that if God is there and I come at the gate, if there is hell or heaven, I think God will be like, okay, I see you're a really good woman. Even though you do not believe in me. You're good to the creation does not mean you're good to the creation. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The God that I would believe is a God that would say, you believe me or not. But my sister, I find it interesting. You good. Your way but to my, my, my sister, I, I find it interesting that you you accept Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a very honourable yeah. and, 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 and a very beautiful character, a human yes, being, absolutely. speaking the truth, right? Absolutely. So why would you lie about receiving revelation? I don't from think him? He was lying. So what do you think? So what's the option? Either he's deluded, he's lying, or he's speaking the truth. Which one? Come on. I don't have an explanation. Come on, come on, let's you. Come on. Yes. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Honestly, no, 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 no. Honestly. But I have to tell you, Osama, you really make sister, si sister, argument. sister, sister. We're not. Ex look, it's about the truth. It's about the truth. Okay, but sister, you're we're very, not. Very good educator. Uh, no, I think you're very well educated too. Yeah. yeah. That's why we're having a great discussion. I mean, you're be around in speakers' corner. I understand so many you're heckers. saying you come yeah. so far just to this link, right? But I'm asking you. You only have my kids to say the same. Mom, yeah. you're doing so but many good things. Just yeah, what's no. the possible? No, 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 hang, hang on. What, what, what is the possible explanation for Prophet Muhammad peace be upon So, if he's a true person, no, I don't have it. I don't have answers to all things. So, was he dishonest when he said he was receiving for revelation? Sure okay, so what's the other option? You tell me. I don't know. I need to think about it. Come on, either he's lying. If he's not dishonest, that means he's truthful. I, I think about it, sister. Think about it, sister. I think about it. I think about it. Because you know, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. But he is the most the, 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 the prophet yeah, yeah. the prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the most influential figure in human history the most I influential that. Yeah? yeah and he came with a message yeah but we do know that influential and social conservative you're talking about hang on hang on one more thing you're, 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 you're talking about you're you're talking about your how old are you well, he's smart 23, Mashallah. 23 and Very what are you smart. doing in life just have uh, my own business alhamdulillah oh you have a business yeah down well Mashallah. Do you know? Do you know what's amazing? All of your arguments was based on moral arguments. Let me tell you one thing: the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was raised up in Makkah. He was, uh, and his people was the Quraysh. They were barbaric people. They used to uh, they used to bury the female infants alive. They used to show nakedness around the Kaaba. Yeah. They used to uh, they used to treat women like rubbish, like a second class citizen. Imagine a barbaric nation. Yeah. He led his nation. To conquering some of the parts of the business in the empire all the way to China and India. An illiterate man, an unlettered man, no, you can read really no right. We don't disagree about his greatness. But you're only but I, if he's a messenger of God. Because the Quran says the Quran, the, the, the Quran states the Quran states that the Prophet Muhammad Sassam was sent to lead a nation from darkness into light. Look at the situation that he has to deal with. No military experience. No, no, no. You 
no, no, so, no, no, I'm not talking about greatness. I'm talking about the fact you're talking, all of this, you're talking about moral arguments. No man within a period of 23 years was able to transform a nation from a barbaric nation to the torchbearers. I'm not sure that's Within 23 years. No human being. I bet it couldn't be Barnaby Rogers. I'll, okay, I'll give you one that example. Does not prove the, that, does, that is not for me. It, it's a proof of his greatness. Yeah. Not necessary to the whole process. But your argument all this time was about, you know, let's enlighten the nation, let's try and bring a good society. But and the prophet. Well right, so where did he get this divine? Yeah, where did he definitely get, want him so, on my so side where, in the fight for Right, so sister, where did he get those legislation we get from? Done very well. Hang on, hang on, where did he get this legislation from? I understand. I understand. No, no, what, what do you think? Where did he get this legislation from? Like laws, where did he get these laws from? No, I understand that he, you believe that he did not, unlike me, who's saying, look, I'm a moral person. No, but you said he's an honest and upright person, yeah, correct? But you say, yeah. the difference between, I hope I it's not the specific for me to even compare, yeah, but sure, unlike sure. an ordinary person who knows what's right and wrong, he knew what's right and wrong because he has got guidance. But exactly, exactly. So I'm asking you, I'm asking you, uh, 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 he came with the laws and legislation that he claims he receives from God, okay? And I gave an example where... I believe that he believes that. Right, right, right. Ha but, but, but hang on, hang on. But if, but if you're... Yeah. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Not lying. But sister, but sister, but exactly. So if he's not lying, he must be. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Sister, sister, if he, sister, 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 if you're saying he's not lying, then he must be speaking the truth. And if he's speaking the truth, okay, then do you know what? You should explore his life. I will think about you know what? Think about it. Yeah. That's very good challenges. Thank you. But I think deep down, you know, Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet. But I think it, it, it only, it's only a matter of time, inshallah. But also, I, really, okay. I think, I think you know. God, he's, pretty, he's pretty proud of me, regardless. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I know. Don't worry, don't worry. Though. We, 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 we also lost my talent. But you know your, what? It was a great discussion, sister. You. You very good in What's your name, brother? Adam. 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 Right, nice good discussion. This is your mother, correct? The right. We love that. Good. Treat the your mother well, man. Sure. You, I didn't. I didn't mean to, you know, hurt your feelings or anything. It's a bit of confrontation. You know, sometimes the truth needs to be confronted. Sometimes. Yeah. Baraklafi. Inshallah, may Allah guide. And the Creator, by, by in His nature, He is all powerful. He is all knowing, and He's the most wise. So if these three principles that me and you both sister, we probably agree with these principles, then we have to affirm whatever God has revealed to His people has to be most wise. Yeah. Has to be from knowledge and has to be from wisdom. No, I yeah. think I think these are qualities yeah. most wise that are human ways to try to articulate things. No, my sister, look, if you agree oh, that I'm going to... Just leave it, just, yeah. just leave it there. I'm going to finish up. You know, you, sister, okay, you finish. I'm going to say one thing. You wanna, if you want to continue, then you can carry on. Yeah, you tell oh. me what you want yes. me to think about. Yeah, so what I want you to think about is that, of course, if we agree that God by nature is, of course, powerful, he is knowledgeable, he is wise. So with these attributes, of course, if you already agree that the Creator exists, and from his wisdom he created us, yeah. which of course is a beauty in itself, then of course, we, we believe as Muslims, that's the reason why he is worthy of worship. Correct. If we, if we affirm, sister, yeah, that God by nature is most wise, most knowledgeable, we are going to agree every single thing that he says to us, yeah, yeah. whether it's revelation, the way we live our life. Because I believe if a creator exists, only he is the most powerful and most wise to give us legislation because he created us. Just like the brother was mentioning about the phone, the reason why the man, of course, like, let's say, I want to give you an example. Of I think yeah. Yeah. Summer, yeah. the difference that we have right now is what, who, what is that creator yeah. and how do you express gratitude for Good, creation? very good question. Yeah. That's what we defer. You convince me about the general subjectivity, yeah. um, and you convince me about the inconsistency. Yeah. 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 And I am. Yeah. So I still. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you one analogy. Yeah? I'll give you one analogy. Your, your son loves you, correct? Because yes. your mother, correct? Fine. Not just because I'm his mother. Lip service. I'm a good man. Oh, okay, fine. No problem. Lip service, right? But how does he express it to you? How? I just don't think we can compare the no, uh, no, no, no. to human wait, wait, wait. No, 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 think about this, think about this. Uh, he's uh, carrying in his backpack. Mashallah. Right Very nice individual, Mashallah. Good character. He's respectful yes. towards you. Yeah, right. you know heaven is at your mother's feet, no? Uh, yes, yes, the saying to the Prophet, yes. So what about the creator? So what about the creator who gifted, from his perspective, who gifted a mother like you? Why do you be grateful to him? I am grateful to 
as a creator. But how do you express your gratefulness to the creator? I don't, well, no, this is, I don't think you understood me. My gratitude to the creator for, and my gratitude for my great fortune to have such a wonderful son. Okay. I need to take this goodness and do good to other people. Yeah, but you're, you're talking about the rights of the creation. I what know. about the rights of the creator? That's what we do. Just think about one I thing, yeah, sister. I want to mention really one important thing. Yeah? Let's I think we're going uh, around like, circles. Your son, yeah. um, it's a good day one day. He has like some um, celebration that you want to do, yeah? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you yeah. buy a gift for your son. Yeah. That's Are it. you going to buy a gift for your son? Uh, you like or a gift that your son likes? That's it. Like you're grateful? I understand. Well, what's the okay, answer the question, sister. So I want to get, get to the point. Yeah. Do you buy a gift that you like or your son likes? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, but, but, but how do you apply like to buy? Wait, wait, wait. If, if, if he want, yeah. You're gonna buy a gift that he likes, of course, right? You're not gonna buy a gift that you oh, like. Well, it depends. Oh, come on. Come on, sister. Come on, sister. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Now, now we're gonna get to the point, yeah? So now it's the same thing when it comes to like our worship. Are we gonna worship God the way we want to worship yeah. God? Or are we going to worship the way God the way God wants us to worship God? That's the point I was trying to make. That's what we're leaving with, yeah? I just think we have a different concept of God. No, we don't. I think, I think yeah, we believe in the same concept. Okay, look, look, look. The definition of God is God is one and only. God is absolute self sufficient. God does not beget children, nor was he born. There is nothing like unto him. Yeah, you agree with that? God does not need gratitude. God needs us. No, we need well, gratitude. No, we need to be grateful God. to the Creator. Okay, and then, and Because it benefits us, it doesn't benefit him. So I'm telling you, the yeah. gratitude to the Creator yeah. in my life is by doing good. Oh, I have it. <laughs> by doing good to the rest of the things that God created. So you're not going to be good to. To the one who created yeah, goodness. But you're going to be good to the creation. Oh, come on. Exists, that's what they you have really to be good want. to the creator, that's not it, to your man. own subject. Usually, 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 like usually I don't like a very long discussion, but you were an exception. Alhamdulillah, like, I really enjoyed it. Usually, I, I can't deal with people who are hecklers, who are disrespectful. But you've been very respectful, and I and I and I encourage you to look into Islam, to be uh, you know just to, just to look into the, the claim of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And it's a pleasure. There are great old truths also with people who did not follow this. But that's the very reason why I'm having Marxism, a discussion with you. I'm trying to understand from your perspective. It's a great example of anti poverty, anti capitalism, um, social justice, climate change that are have great. Oh, Islam Islam values. provides even environmental rights. Okay. Well, the I Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, even a fountain of water you I can't waste. Speak a religion, it would be Islam. But not to stop war. Okay, that's it's emotion. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care, Adam. I, I did not come here to, you know, I, I didn't come here to offend your mom. And if it, this is we're just having a good time. Uh, sincere, mashallah. And uh, you know, her son is a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Uh, so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide her. Uh, we ask Allah to, uh, to forgive any mistakes that we made. Uh, everything that we said right is from Allah. Everything that we said uh, wrong is from ourselves. And uh, mashallah, we got brother Osama, mashallah, he contributed as well. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him. And take care. Do you want to say anything? Take care. Asalaamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Oh, sorry. Barakallah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Alhamdulillah. That's it. I already lost the mic. Now I'll break more. <laughs> oh, yeah, you run the SC Dawa.